Yellowstone, super volcanoes, weird pit of magma still remains a mystery. This is on Live Science by Stephanie Pappas. Yellowstone is a super volcano, one of the biggest in the world. It's what drives the hot springs. Yellowstone has over 60% of the world's geysers and also there are over 10,000 hydrothermal sites on the Yellowstone National Park area, which houses the supervolcano. Not all of them, of course, have been located by the U.S. Geological Survey yet. Because of the fact that the supervolcano is always changing, they have recently found in this area, northwest of Yellowstone Lake, Yellowstone Lake is part of the caldera which was outlined in that blue line they have found a new thermal area showing that there could be new geysers new hot springs mud pools mud flows uh, in that area they have not yet taken a field trip to observe it but i believe they will once the snow melts and the weather is better for them now the pit of magma underneath the Yellowstone caldera is still a mystery. Researchers are now closer than ever to understand how it became the powerhouse of the supervolcano. The new computer model of the magma plume shows that seven million years of underground activity leading up to the creation of the double magma chambers that animate the and uh, drive the Yellowstone caldera in our times. Scientists reported a use in a new study, quote, this is for the first time the numerical look at how magma distributes itself in the crust, end quote. This is what Ilya Bindben, the ge geoscientist at the University of Oregon said, who is the co-author of this study. Yellowstone has a long history uh, Bidman, who uh, spearheaded the modeling effort, geoscientists have imaged the magma underneath Yellowstone, discovered the magma body that's between 2.5 and 8.7 miles deep. It's not 2 miles, it's 2.5 to about 9 miles deep and 9% melted. And a larger body of melt that's 12 and a half to 28 miles deep at that's two percent melted the two gooey areas are separated by a sill of embedded unmelted crust you can imagine now it's like uh, two soft gooey things with a crust in the middle to figure out how the underside of the yellowstone got looking this way the lead author of the study, named Colon, used forward modeling, which is essentially running scenarios over 7 million simulated years to arrive at this current state that the supervolcano was found at. Quote, he was able to choose parameters which were both realistic for Yellowstone and the ones which match geophysical observations and also geochemistry. Given that the models match reality from all these angles, Biden said, we think this is what is going on under Yellowstone. Yellowstone and Yosemite, two of the world's oldest national parks. Okay? The crust over Yellowstone plume moves, moves about two centimeters every year. That's about one inch a year as the North American tectonic plates move. The uh, movement creates a sort of a conveyor belt effect where the plume has caused eruptions in a slowly advancing line over millions of years. The line is visible today in the topography as a snake river plain. According to the new model described April 16th in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, the head of the plume pit 
hit the crust about 6.75 million years ago. This pushed the melting basalt, a type of magma, into the crust. And the two zones of melt formed another, after another, 1.25 million years. There's also a hot spot that they have found, right under the caldera. The findings suggest that the magma plume is 315 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 135 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surrounding mantle. Colon is now working on a paper about the geochemistry of the model. The geochemistry is important because Yellowstone's magma is bizarre, is strange, is particularly depleted in the isotope oxygen 18, or atoms of oxygen with 10 neutrons rather than the normal 8 in the nucleus, researchers know that this depletion has to do with the way the hydrothermal system of geysers and hot springs at Yellowstone interacts with the crust, which then feeds into the magma system and creates oxygen 18 depleted magma. So it's not hard to explain how this actually happens though. Uh, making the depleted oxygen 18 one of the most enigmatic geochemical signatures of the plume. Researchers hope the new model will explain these odd interactions. The model may also eventually help inform predictions of Yellowstone's future. Bideman said, this modeling tells you with maybe half a kilometer, about a third of a mile resolution, where the magma is, and what is the composition of this magma, how much magma, etc. With additional details, the model could help predict the eruptive potential of that magma. The last Yellowstone eruption took place 640,000 years ago. Now, we're talking about uh, that huge eruption, but there have been other eruptions since then, 70,000 years ago, and since then, another 80 eruptions which were basically lava eruptions. Now, according to USGS YVO, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the color code is normal green. Seismicity during March, University of Utah Seismograph Stations, responsible for operating the analysis of Yellowstone Seismic Network, network located 127 earthquakes in the park, the largest event was a minor 3.3 .3 located 14 miles northwest of Pahaski, TP, Wyoming. Now, they have, this uh, has not been updated. This is dated April 1st. But in the middle of April, we had a five magnitude quake uh, west northwest of uh, Yellowstone Lake, the caldera. And that was downgraded to a 4.4 magnitude. And they have not said anything about that in the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Um, publications, alerts, or updates, nothing. Nothing in the Caldera Chronicles concerning that quake. And I, for one, am very confused as to why they have no mention of that, because that was a pretty big quake for Yellowstone standards. They had a quake of 4.5 about 35 years ago, and they were all flustered about that. Now, March seismicity in Yellowstone, we're talking about 2019 seismicity included two swarms of earthquakes. The first swarm had 26 local events occurring 16 miles east-northeast of uh, West Yellowstone on Montana from uh, March 25th to 26th and ranged magnitude of 0 0.1 to 1.9. The second smaller swarm of 17 local quakes was nine miles west of Old Faithful March 28th, ranging from 0.1 to 2.0. Ground deformation? Well, uh, I'll tell you what they say. I'm not going to, you know, find out. Uh, from what they said in the Caldera Chronicles, the caldera is subsiding. It's deforming. The whole area is deforming. The caldera is subsiding, whereas the Norris Geyser Basin, which has a steamboat geyser, is rising. So I'll leave links below for you for this.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.